Hello and welcome to another reading from the book That I May Know Him, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Dare to be Different, November 8th That he may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Philippians 2.15 Let everyone, for Christ's sake and for their own soul's sake, shun conformity to the world, to its customs, vanities, and fashions. Beware of human commandments that will obscure the holy commandments of God. The pleasure lover is ever unsatisfied and continually desires to seek again the excitement of the ballroom, the theater, or the party of pleasure. The time God has granted us in which to prepare for eternity is spent by thousands in poring over fictitious stories. God-given intellect is perverted, the word of God is neglected, the mind and soul are robbed of moral power needed for wrestling against faults and errors, habits and practices that disqualify the soul for the enjoyment of Christ's presence. Let the question be asked seriously and with intense interest, how is it with my soul? Am I, by my habits and practices, working against my Redeemer? Inquire, do I bring glory to Christ? Do I show to a disobedient and crooked generation that I choose to suffer reproach for the sake of Jesus? Will the professed followers of Christ aim high and reach the standard of holiness? Better be a worldling than a common, cheap, professed Christian. Dare to come out from the world and be separate. Dare to be singular because you love Jesus better than the world and righteousness with persecution better than disobedience with worldly prosperity. Holy and entire obedience through dependence upon the Lord Jesus Christ will strengthen the soul to be steadfast in the faith and hope of the gospel. Jesus says, Without me ye can do nothing. John 15, 5 Union with Christ is our only means of overcoming sin. Living in Christ, adhering to Christ, supported by Christ, drawing nourishment from Christ, we bear fruit after the similitude of Christ. We live and move in Him. We are one with Him and one with the Father. The name of Christ is glorified in the believing child of God. This is Bible religion. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book that I may know Him. Be encouraged.